Welcome to Inside Africa once again. It's our weekly look at news and life on the continent. Well, thousands of the world's top experts on the HIV virus are gathering in Durban, South Africa. It is the 13th annual International AIDS Conference. The conference opens on Sunday. It will continue through the coming week. This is the first time the International AIDS Conference has been held on the continent that is most ravaged by the disease. The latest United Nations report says more than 70% of people infected with the HIV virus live in sub-Saharan Africa. Nearly 11 million AIDS orphans also live on the continent. CNN's Charlene Hunter-Galt joins us yeah. now from Durban. Charlene. Hello, Jim. Here in Durban, South Africa, he the said there are some resources people coming to this, this AIDS conference got a real African welcome and it has at the airport today. Thousands of them are coming in. The Zulu dancers and singers giving praise. These are young people who work uh, in the community oh. trying to uh, educate about HIV AIDS. The delegates here are registering now, getting ready for the conference, which opens tomorrow. Before we came here, we were in Zimbabwe, where a unique program will mirror many of the things that are happening here. Local people will be coming to talk about how they are contributing their efforts to the fight against HIV AIDS. And we found in Zimbabwe a different kind of army mounting its campaign. Crispin Muzuringe is a fighter. He sees himself as a fighter in a war of liberation, not unlike the one that freed Zimbabwe from colonial rule some 20 years ago. But unlike other guerrilla fighters in the African bush, Crispin's war is nonviolent. His targets, people like these. His enemy, HIV AIDS. His weapon, words telling of the dangers of HIV AIDS so that they will liberate themselves against the, the epidemic. Muzirengi is one of 50 so-called field officers working with total control of the epidemic, known as TCE, a new project sponsored by a Zimbabwe-based global federation of non-governmental organizations called Humana People to People. While the project also includes home-based care for HIV-positive patients and counseling, the centerpiece is the army of young people like Muzarenge, talking to their neighbors, friends, even family. When we have this myth that the condoms are not effective, then that will also fail. Then we'll never stop the epidemic. Local people are recruited and trained, then assigned specific geographic areas with responsibility for 2,000 people. They visit not once, but as many times as it takes to drive home the message of how to prevent HIV AIDS and how to cope with it if that message is too late. Crispin Muzarengi's mission is fueled by his personal tragedy. AIDS claimed his mother, father, and other family members. Only my father was at uh, 61, uh, the, 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 the one who was old, and the rest were 40 and below. Muzuringi says part of the battle with his family and others is dispelling myths, such as HIV AIDS is really witchcraft. Still, he often uses witchcraft folklore to drive home his messages. Telling this family, for example, that they need to go and find out their HIV status, because if they are positive and die without knowing, their souls will be restless, believing they've been bewitched. If you, you, you know your status, one, if you're HIV positive, that is you know how uh, to, to, to live positively. Showing HIV positive people how to live positively, thus prolonging their lives, is another weapon in the TCE arsenal. Teaching them how to grow nutritious foods and also how to prepare it. Others are being taught how to make nutritious food, like this peanut butter, and also how to earn money from it. If you don't have uh, money, you don't have anything to eat, at last you end up doing something which is not good. Even the children orphaned by AIDS are being given skills so they don't have to drop out of school. These are some of Zimbabwe's orphan population of more than 600,000. 14-year-old Isaac Niamazuo is in charge of the group of orphans learning to raise chickens. Because our parents died, 
so we can make we can raise our money mm -hmm. for ourselves with his little army of chickens isaac is one of the smallest soldiers in the war against aids but he for one is confident that it's a fight he's going to win charlene hunter galt musiwa zimbabwe we're going to go back to durban in a moment we